oh my gosh. Hey, buddy. Oh man, it's so good to see you. It's been an eternity. How are you doing? Come here. Huh? What do you mean? Oh, uh, right. My mistake. Of course you just saw me this morning. But for me, that was about mm, two months ago? Man, these time paradoxes never stop messing with my head, I tell you. Hey, what is it? Oh, come on, don't look at me like that. You know that I'm a time cop. I told you when I moved in next to you last... Mm, for you, it was probably about, I don't know, four months ago? Five months? Dude, I can barely keep track of my own time. So, wait, you mean you, you moved here only six weeks ago in your time? Well, I should really get home more often. You look a bit confused. Okay, it works like this. This morning, when you last saw me, I went to the police station for work. Then I traveled back to the 1950s and spent two months there undercover, and now I'm coming back home. So, two months have passed for me, but only a few hours for you. Uh, sorry for the hug. In case you didn't like it, I mean. But I really haven't seen you in an eternity. And to be frank, I kind of missed you. Wow, you really only know me for six weeks? You've been my neighbor for about two years from my perspective. Yeah, it is so weird. You make a nice paella on a Tuesday, then you travel back to 1956, spend two months there, over the course of which you also make several other trips to the Jurassic and Upper Cretaceous to return a bunch of dinosaurs to their natural habitat, and then you get back home and it's still Tuesday and there is a paella in your fridge that you made two months ago and it's only a few hours old and perfectly fresh and edible, but you feel kind of weird about eating it because you made that thing two months ago and... Huh? Yeah, dinosaurs. Oh, come on, I must have told you at some point that I work for the Time Police Dinosaur Task Force. You thought I was joking? Okay. Well, anyway, I spent the last two months in the 1950s busting yet another underground dinosaur fighting ring. Those sickos are moving their damn pits to the 40s and 50s now because the time travel regulations were so lax back then. And you'll find some rich bastards willing to gamble on the poor Allosaurus and Carnotaurus ripping each other to shreds in any decade. Gosh, I swear if I could just grab those sick bastards by their- Huh? Oh yeah, we got them. We got them good. And they will spend a good many years in time prison, let me tell you. They must have broken like half a dozen time travel regulations, at least. Gross violation of timeline integrity preservation standards, transporting prehistoric animals without a permit, running an unlicensed time travel rig. And man, you should have seen their time travel rig. Only a complete idiot would store a wormhole in such a chunk of trash. It looked like they had a cobbled it together from an old fridge and a few dented tin cans. We had to call in the engineering squad to secure it sweating bullets the whole time and expecting it to blow up at any moment, as if the situation hadn't been tense enough already, what with all the dinosaurs running loose. Oh yeah, those bastards let the dinosaurs loose on us to try and cover their escape. They do that a lot when they see us pulling out the guns and badges, actually. And whenever somebody lets loose a bunch of dinosaurs on you, the direction your day is about to take greatly depends on what type of dinosaur you get. Like, you know, there's a type that's actually rather cautious. Almost shy. I like those ones. Everyone loves an adorable shinosaur. And then there are the ones that want to eat you. You know, it's kind of frustrating that you actually really love these creatures and want to help them and protect them from some greedy bastards who want to hurt them for fun or profit or whatever. But then they try to eat you. And you know you shouldn't be mad at them, because they're just animals, and they don't know any better, and they're just doing what their instincts tell them to. But then sometimes you just think, oh, come on, I'm trying to save your fluffy feathered butt. Just get out of that cage, get over there to the time travel homer, and for five goddamn minutes, stop trying to eat me. What? Oh yeah, as I said, 
That happens a lot. See that scar? That was a Deinonychus that we saved from an illegal dinosaur restaurant in the 70s. Nearly got me that one. Hey, what is it? Oh, come on. Never seen a girl's tummy before? What are you blushing about? Uh-huh. Yeah, we're still standing in the stairwell. So what? Afraid someone might see us? Well, in that case, why don't you come in? I got some paella in the fridge that I made yesterday. Well, from your point of view, at least. And I wouldn't mind sharing it, if you like. Hey, why so flustered, buddy? Are you worried your girlfriend might get jealous of me? Oh, you don't have one? Really? In that case, you have to come in even more. Oh, come on. I just got back from a really rough operation, okay? I need to wind down and I could do with some company. I just spent seven weeks in the 50s when the pinnacle of entertainment was listening to baseball on the radio. I want some Netflix and chill. And I need to eat something that isn't embedded in jelly. Really, the 50s had beautiful cars and great music, but they really sucked at cooking. I've been looking forward to eating that paella for two freaking months. Ah, here we go. All right, come on in. Make yourself at home. Living room's just down the hallway. Pretty much the same as your apartment, I assume. Just let me slip into something a bit comfier. I'll be with you in a minute. And here we go, buddy. You comfy? All right then, what's the plan? Want to have that by you right now, or save it for later and have some Netflix and relax first? We could also have some snacks first, if you want. I must admit, I have no idea what's in my fridge. Haven't opened that thing in two months, after all. But don't you worry. Everything in there is perfectly fresh and edible and stuff. For you, it's only been a day since my last grocery run, after all. <laughs> oh. So then. What have you been up to since I last saw you? Hmm. Okay, and then? Oh yeah, right. To you was only a few hours. Almost forgot. Man, no matter how often I do this, I never seem to get used to it. Hey, what is it? Yeah, of course I... Huh? Are you for real? Seriously, why would I lie to you? Don't believe me? Fine, check this out. Once we got them tranquilized, we always take selfies with the dinosaurs. I mean, how could you possibly not when you have a peacefully snoring three-ton allosaurus right there? This here is us last night. We had to take a pic with that rickety time travel rig after all. I mean, just look at that thing. Oh, um, that's me with a bunch of 50s cars. I just had to take some photos of them. They're so beautiful. I mean, they were dangerous death traps without brake boosters or ABS, but just look at them. They're gorgeous. They don't make them like they used to. Okay, that's cars. Cars. That's my breakfast. Cars. 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 Oh yeah, here we go. That's an illegal Triceratops breeding facility we busted in the 80s. You got any idea how much one of those hatchlings is on the black market? Oh, and now guess what this is? It's a Spinosaurus. It looks so weird, right? Paleontologists had no idea. We saved him from a trader who wanted to sell him to some rich Texan guy. Oh yeah, and that's a Deinonychus that nearly ripped my spleen out. Looks kind of cute when he's all passed out and not trying to gore you, right? But man, when he's awake, he's no fun to be around. You know, according to the manufacturer, one of our ultrasound stunners should knock out an animal the size of a Deinonychus in about 15 to 20 seconds. That about is doing a lot of heavy lifting here. Apparently, about 15 to 20 seconds very much includes two and a half minutes, because that's how long I had to run from that Deinonychus before it finally keeled over. Hmm? Oh, 
never mind. It's fine. That was like half a year ago. Well, okay, for you it was probably like last week. Well, actually, it was in the 1970s. Huh. Can we please ignore all the time paradox stuff for now? My brain hurts. Anyway, it was a long, long time ago. I think of it as a really cool story by now. Want to see that scar again? You know, you could touch it if you want. Wait, let me take my shirt off. What? What is it? You're getting flustered again. Oh, come on. We've known each other for how long now? Oh, yeah, right. You've only known me for... Are you sure it was only six weeks in your timeline? Because I've known you kind of longer than that. Every time I got back from some week-long mission in the past, you were just there to just, you know, talk to me. Just have some casual chit-chat that isn't about timeline integrity preservation or the Prehistoric Wildlife Protection Act of 2063 or about robots from the future trying to assassinate Lady Gaga. Huh? I don't know either. They always self-destruct before we can question them. Well, anyway... For the past two years, you've been some kind of constant in my life. I get back from hunting dinosaur smugglers for a month, and you'd just be there like, Oh hey, it's you again. How was your day? I like that. Man, my back is killing me. It's probably for the best I get a few days off for now. <sighs> hey, what is it? Oh, come on. I just put my head on your shoulder. Don't get a heart attack. I'm super exhausted. I told you I want to chill. And you are comfy. The force had us crammed into some tiny, cheap 1950s apartment for the past two months, and I had to share a room with some nut job officer from the future who listened to weird 2060s music all the time. I haven't been this comfortable in weeks. So can you please just keep still? Man, all that time traveling really messes with your head. Like, for example, you kind of don't really know when your birthday is. I mean, just imagine it was your birthday tomorrow, but then you spend one month in the 50s, and from there you also go back to the Jurassic period for a couple of days, and then you return to today. Is it still your birthday tomorrow? Like, my birthday used to be in July, but with all the time traveling I did over the course of the past two years, or the past six weeks, if we look at it from your perspective. It's now sometime in May, I think? There's days when I'm not even really sure how old I am. I mean, when I moved here, I was two years younger than you, but by now we should be around the same age? Seriously now, did you not notice me aging over the past couple weeks? Huh? Oh, um, thank you. I moisturize. What? Oh no, it's fine. No big deal. And getting to work with real-life dinosaurs is totally worth it. And hey, this way you'll have a great excuse for not remembering my birthday or our anniversary or whatever. Huh? Uh, uh I, I mean the anniversary of when we first met each other. Our friendship anniversary. Anyway, uh, what should we do with our evening? Netflix? We could also just put on some music and hang out, you know? Oh, can I put on some Beyonce? Whenever I would try, my partner from the 2060s groaned and told me to turn off the granny music. And then she played Ankh at full blast. You ever listen to Ankh? That's what happens to punk rock about 40 years from now, apparently. Listen, I'm open to trying new stuff. I really am. And there's the occasional chainsaw solo in a song. I really don't mind. But when the whole song is more chainsaw than guitar, I just draw the line, okay? Man, and I thought James Cameron's Terminator the Musical was bad. I swear, if my grandchildren ever listen to that crap, I will disown them. <sighs> well, never mind. I won't have to deal with her much longer anyway. I applied to be transferred to the Dinosaur Quick Response Force. After I had, like two dozen successful missions over the last two years, they can no longer turn me down. That means no more week-long covert operations in decades when they didn't have Reddit yet. Less, oh yeah, 
I'm totally a wealthy widow from the 40s who wants to buy your illegal sarcophagus. Thank you so much, my good sir. More awesome dinosaur action. Whenever there's any sort of dinosaur-related incident, they call me and I just swoop in, grab the animal, and return it to its natural time period. Like, remember that iguanodon rampage at Central Station? Wouldn't have ever happened with me on the force. Huh? Oh yeah, right. Didn't happen yet from your perspective. Whoopsie, spoilers! Man, it really messes with your head sometimes when you get to watch the breaking news of next week. Proper shame we're not allowed to buy stocks or play the lottery, am I right? But you might want to stay away from Central Station on Tuesday, is all I'm saying. Well, anyway, if everything goes my way, I will no longer be away from home for so long. So the next time we meet in the stairwell and you ask me how my day was, it will actually have been a day and not, you know, two freaking months. We would also be aging around the same rate then, you know? Ugh. Gosh, my back is killing me. Bad enough I had to walk around in heels for two months so those damn dinosaur abusers wouldn't suspect I was a cop. But time travel always leaves me wrecked. There's just something about getting torn apart on the subatomic level and shot through a wormhole at the speed of light that my muscles don't take kindly to. Is there any chance you could give me a massage? Hey, what is it? Oh, come on. I mean, I already took my shirt off anyway, so you might as well just... Come on, please. My back is super tense. Can't you just rub it a little? You know, I would also return the favor, if you like. What do you mean, what am I doing? I'm flirting with you, silly. Come on, I'm about as subtle as a horny Carnotaurus waving its tiny arms. For the past couple months, I've been trying to work up the courage to ask you out. I always told myself, the next time you come back from a mission... Then I always came back exhausted and done for and with a bad case of time travel hangover. And you were always all casual and non-committal, like, Oh yeah, it's you again, so how was your day? You know, like you hadn't missed me at all. Yeah, I know it's only been a couple hours for you, but for me it wasn't, and I missed you like heck. <laughs> yeah, I'm very well aware we have a pretty weird relationship dynamic. Believe it or not, I have occasionally been thinking about that over the past couple of months. I just thought maybe if I finally plucked up the courage to invite you over and made a nice paella for you, I might just, you know, win you over. Like, give you a little push in the right direction, so you might just give it a try. Give us a try. Oh, for real now, how am I rushing anything? I mean, for how much longer was I supposed to- Okay, yeah, we've been there. Never mind. But, in fairness, I did get the impression that you liked me too. Like, every time we talked, you were super nice to me. And you helped me carry my groceries that one time a couple months ago, remember? Oh, for you it was Monday. Okay, well, anyway, I did get the impression that you were giving me the eye, at least. You- You were? Because I'm... Aw, oh, you think I'm cute? Really? Great. But what's the problem then? Uh huh, we should... Yeah, okay, cool. I like it. We can totally go on a date first. What do you have in mind? Oh, sorry, but no. I'm afraid I can't take you along on a mission. You got any idea how much paperwork you would have to get filled to get a time travel permit for a civilian? Really, it's like doing Scrooge McDuck's tax return. Oh, you know what? There's this one Arthocanthosaurus we rescued from an abandoned warehouse, and he grew up in captivity and wouldn't know how to survive in the wild, so we couldn't return him to the Cretaceous, and now we don't know what to do with him. So we kept him around, and he kind of became the department's mascot. We call him Steve. You know, because Spielberg. If you want, you can feed him. 
Well, you can throw half a pig carcass down a chute and it will add in Steve's paddock, but still. No, no. He's not tame. Is used to humans is not the same as won't eat humans. Time police nearly would have had one pension less to pay because Doug from the time travel copyrights department didn't know that difference. <sighs> that idiot should have stuck to keeping folks from publishing Harry Potter in the 80s or something. Yeah, you're right. Probably not the best idea for a first date. So then, what else? Dinner? Yeah, that's a great idea. Just a nice, romantic dinner. No dinosaurs, no pig carcasses. Just you, me, a meal, bottle of wine, some music, maybe some candles. Sounds amazing. Um, you know, I still have that paella in the fridge. That counts as a dinner date, right? I'm sure I have a bottle of wine as well. And we could put on some music and light some candles if you want. Or does it only count if it's in a restaurant? I mean, I'd be perfectly okay with it if you insisted. Oh, awesome. I'm already in my comfies, and after two freaking months, I absolutely dread the idea of having to wear heels for even one more evening. Oh, this is awesome. We're dating. Finally. Just give me a few minutes. I'll get dinner ready. Oh, um, please do tell me if I'm too pushy. But, well... What's your policy on kisses on a first date? Really? Perfect. Um, and what about kisses before the first date? Excellent. How about in that case we- Oh, but Clue suddenly isn't quite so shy anymore. I like it. I, I, I gotta go get dinner ready. I've been waiting for that paella for two months. We can kiss some more later. I've been waiting for you a lot longer than that.